everyone, welcome back to another video. So as I thought this was my first ever Halloween video, I thought I would go quite easy and do a would you rather, just just because it's a bit easy to start off with. Plus I've got loads of uh, Halloween videos planned because I shared this thing on Instagram and Snapchat where you guys could reply to me and uh, leave me some sort of ideas which you'd like to see. So I've had some like snacks, some makeup, costumes, things like that. I've had loads and loads coming in so if any of you guys do actually have any which you'd like me to do as well, comment them down below or you can also contact me by my social media which is also linked down below in the description uh, so you guys can go follow me on there as well. Before we get on this video make sure to give a big thumbs up and subscribe down below as well and let's get straight on to the video so as there are 20 of these would you rather's I'm going to go through them quite quickly because I don't want to keep you guys waiting there so I'm probably just gonna like read it and then go rather than just keeping you guys waiting so let's actually start so all of my would you rather's are on my iPad here as you can sort of see and I'm gonna read them out and then obviously tell you guys which one I would prefer so the first one is would you rather walk through a graveyard at midnight or spend the night in a spooky abandoned house now I feel like that walking through a graveyard at midnight wouldn't be that scary because it would be dark anyway like a normal night and I just don't find graveyards scary and a spooky abandoned house does actually seem scarier than a graveyard. So I'm gonna go with, I would rather walk through a graveyard at midnight. The second one is, would you rather dunk for apples or carve a jack lantern? Now isn't a jack lantern basically a, uh, isn't it basically a pumpkin or am I wrong? Am I wrong? I don't know, I've always thought that a jack lantern was a pumpkin Dunk for apples. I don't know, because I... If a jack lantern... If a, I can't even speak now, guys. If a jack lantern is a pumpkin, then I'd rather do that, because, I mean, as long as it doesn't prick me, if it's something that doesn't prick me, then I'm fine with that, because, you know, I'll just use fake blood rather than actually getting cut. The third one is, would you rather be allowed to eat as much Halloween candy as you want for a week, but then have what is left taken away, or be allowed to eat only one piece a day, but never have it taken away. Now, I'm going to say straight away, I would rather be allowed to eat one piece of candy a day and never have it taken away, because then it will last longer to begin with, plus you it won't be taken away, so that would be good. So that means you can eat more candy and you could just count down the dates. Oh, I have this many pieces left, this many days. At least you get to eat candy every day. I mean, you could have that piece of candy after dinner or something, so yeah. The fourth one is, would you rather meet a vampire or meet a werewolf? I'd rather meet a vampire. Actually, I don't know, because, like, I wouldn't really want to meet either of them, to be honest. But in this situation, I would rather meet a vampire. I don't know why, but I just, I'm just going to go with that. Now, this fifth one is similar to the fourth, but this time it is, would you rather be a vampire or be a werewolf? I feel like being a vampire will be really cool because I've uh, I've got this like expansion pack on The Sims 4 where I can uh, where you can have uh, vampires instead of Sims and I love it and it's so cool so I really want to be a vampire basically out of those two. The sixth one is would you rather read a spooky story or see a spooky movie? Now to be honest I've never actually done either of those like I've never gone to watch like a scary movie and I've never actually like read like a scary book because I tend to read books and novels and comic things uh, by uh, YouTubers uh, because I just prefer those sort of books plus I I don't know I just read I have so many YouTube, YouTubers books I also have Joe's new book here you know I just prefer to read YouTubers books and things so I don't I have never actually read a scary story because, I, I don't know, I just don't read those sort of stories. Now, my seventh one is, would you rather have a costume that is really amazing but also very uncomfortable or have a costume that is not anything all that special but is comfortable to wear? Now, I know what I'm going to say straight away. I'm going to say 
uh, the costume that is not that co uh, no the costume that is comfortable and not that amazing because uh, Halloween night it usually it's cold it's dark and you want to be warm and comfortable and things but like you could still get something that looks good but you don't have to go all out but you could you could like you could get the costume and adapt it yourself so you could like sew things on you could just make it your own really and just make it make sure it's comfortable because I prefer a comfortable uh, costume and you know I don't know I would prefer to just you know be comfortable and just adapt my own sort of costume to be honest number eight is would you rather have a homemade costume or have a store-bought costume now this is what I was just uh, talking about really I'd rather have a uh, home-bought costume so then obviously more comfortable you could um, you could be measured which means it'll be exactly your right size rather than a store one because don't you think like when you buy clothes and things from stores um, it's not to your measurements, they've just done ran or not random measurements. They do certain measurements for everything, so, you know, they don't do the exact measurements for, like, because everyone's different, everyone's, like, different sizes and all that. So that, you're never going to be able to find the perfect pair of jeans or jogging bottoms or cardigans. It's just, I'd rather have a homemade Halloween costume. And the next one is, would you rather get 20 of your favourite treats on Halloween or get 50 treats that are not your favourites on Halloween. Ooh. Uh, I don't really know, to be honest, because I'm not really a sweet lover. I, prete I pretend I prefer uh, chocolate compared to sweets, because I'm not really... I, don't, I just don't really eat sweets. So I would say... I would say that getting 20 of my favourite sweets rather than 50 of ones I don't really like, because... That wouldn't be very nice. If there are any sweets out there, which they're sweets, I don't know, like Harry Bows. Um, I don't actually know that many sweets. Um, I don't know, but like I just prefer chocolate to be honest. And number ten is: Would you rather go trick or treating with a group of friends, or get paid twenty dollars or pounds in uh, England to take a little kid trick or treating? I don't really go out trick or treating uh, with friends and that. I usually go uh, out with uh, mum and my uh, mum, Buzz, you know, Charlotte, Paige, Ruby, Poppy. I go out with that lot because we all go around nannies and we all, because uh, it's Charlotte's birthday, uh, my sister's birthday on that day, so we sort of eat food, have cake, uh, we all dress up. Um, our nan tends to have like a massive thing of sweets. Uh, then we all go out, I think, after. Because we do it until we like run out of sweets for the, like, the kids and all that. And then we, after that, we then blow out the pumpkins and then we go out ourselves after that. But yeah, that's just, uh, yeah. So uh, back to the question, or the would you rather. Um, looking at that, it would be get paid $20 to take a little kid to trick or treat. Because I go with little kids anyway, so I mean, it wouldn't really make a difference. And the next one is, would you rather go to a really great Halloween party where you did not know anyone, or go to a kind of lame Halloween party where you knew almost everyone there? Well, I would prefer to go to a, ha like, uh, what was it again? Uh, what was it? A really great Halloween party, because if you don't know people there, one, you can get to know them, two, it would be even scarier and better because you wouldn't know them and you wouldn't know they would be there. Uh, you might have already met them, but, you know, you don't know what they look like. Just, it would be better with people you also... So if there are people there that you know and there's people that you don't know, then you mix together and you all know each other and you get to learn each other. Learn each other? You get to know each other and, yeah, that would be, like, it's just really nice to make friends at a Halloween party, like, scaring each other. Number 12 is, would you rather win a contest for having the best costume or win a contest for making the best jack-o'-lantern? So once again, if jack-o'-lantern, which I still don't know, if that is pumpkin, um, then... Ooh, it would have to be pumpkin because I'm not very good at making costumes or I'm not really good at choosing costumes if that makes sense like I prefer to just go ordinary and not ordinary I do dress up uh I don't know what it was last year actually I can't actually remember but I do dress up I just don't dress up as much like 
I may, I might just have like fake blood and all that, but I don't go over the top. So that would have to be winner contest for the best jack o' lantern or pumpkin, whatever it means, because you know I just prefer that. Number thirteen is: Would you rather have to sleep in a coffin or have to live in a giant pumpkin? Now, I feel like having to live in a giant pumpkin would be awesome, but then it would smell, and I would smell, and everywhere around me would smell, but it would also look really cool. But then sleeping in a coffin overnight is not very nice, to be honest, because, I don't know, it's just not something that I'd want to do, to be honest. Like, I, just thinking about it, I've said to be honest so many times in this video. Ooh, now the next one is... Would you rather have to eat six fish eyeballs or have to eat a small frog? Or, like, right now I'm going to say I'm never going to do either of those. Uh, never considered of doing either of those as well. Uh, but I don't know. Would I? I don't know what I'd rather to do because fish eyeballs are just worth. And a small frog. I mean, if the frog was, like, really, really tiny and it was, like, obviously cooked... <laughs> And it wasn't all disgusting and what, what like, ugh. I don't know. I just don't really want to do either of them, to be honest. Do I have to do them? No. Oh, that's a shame. And number 15 is, would you rather have to wear your Halloween costume to school every day until Thanksgiving or have to wear a jack-o'-lantern slash pumpkin over your head to school for the first three days of November? So for the first three days of November... Hmm. I mean, it wouldn't be that bad because it's getting colder, which means you're getting get cold. You won't be able to smell it. Uh, but it's only three days, to be honest. So wouldn't that be so much better? Like, I'd prefer to like wear a pumpkin on my head. I mean, it's a weird option, but I'd re I'd really prefer to wear a pumpkin over my head. And the next one is: Would you rather help to design and make a haunted house? Or go to a haunted house that someone else has created. Now, I want, like, out of these two, I know straight away, it was go to a haunted house that someone else has made because you don't know your way around, you don't know anything about it, and it would be really cool to go and explore. That is just something that, that would just be cool, and that would be so much better than designing your own. You know where everything is, you know where the surprises are. It would just be so much better if someone else designed it and you just went to have a little look around. And number 17 is, would you rather be chased by five zombies or be chased by one werewolf? Or will have to be zombies because I don't think I like werewolves, to be honest. Uh, they'll be a bit scary and I don't know what could happen after that, but zombies as well. It's one of those ones, again, where you don't really want to end up have, having to do any of those, to be honest. But if I did have to decide, it would be um, chased by zombies, to be honest to be honest, again, uh, but yeah. So guys, we're now on number 18, we've got two left to go. This one is, would you rather trick or treat in a neighborhood or trick or treat at a mall? Ooh, trick or treating in a mall, I've never actually thought of doing before. That would be like really cool because you get to go in all the different shops, especially if you live in a really big city or a big country or a big town or a big neighbourhood. That would be really cool to go and shop around the mall or shopping centre because there'd, be, there'd just be loads of um, shops and they'd allow children in to get sweets. It'd just be a really nice thing to do. Number 19 is, would you rather eat all of your Halloween candy or trade your Halloween candy for $10? Um, I would eat all of my Halloween candy, but I wouldn't eat it all at one time. By the way, guys, me saying candy, that's also sweets in the UK, just to let you guys know, in case some of you don't, uh, but I'm sure you guys do know. Uh, but I would rather eat all of my Halloween sweets, uh, but I wouldn't do it all in one go, because, like I said, I don't, I'm not too keen on sweets. So I'd have maybe, like, a couple of day. Or, like, sometimes I might have some one day, might have not none the other. You know, it just depends on when I want a sweet, really. So, guys, we're now on the last Would You Rather. And this one is, would you rather dress up as a devil or dress up as an angel? Oh, dressing up as a devil would be really cool because, I don't know, you know, all different makeups and everything. An angel, you just have to, like, you don't have to do a lot, but... 
to be a devil or dress up as a devil you you have to like work and you have to actually do cool things to do that so i'd rather do that so guys that is the end of my first halloween video on this channel if you liked it make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below as well and i'll see you on sunday for another video bye